the Jaguars. Of course, before the new stadium deal is done, there is a new schedule that's going to be coming out for the 2024 season. We don't know what it looks like yet. The plan is for the NFL to unveil their schedule later this week, Wednesday night. Busy week of different things in the sports world. So Wednesday, we're going to find out what that NFL schedule looks like. So what do we know about the Jaguars 2024 schedule so far? Not a whole lot, but we know that these teams are going to be on the Jaguars schedule one way or another. So these are your home games and these are your away games. So a lot to work with. We know about the divisional games, the Texans, the Colts, of course, the Titans. But there are also some interesting ones here. Now, keep in mind, last year, the Jaguars played two games in London, one home game, one away game. So one from each one of these sides will probably be across the pond in London. I know that's kind of a mixed results kind of thing for folks. But a lot of options here. Some games that maybe uh, even should have some prime time attraction to them. So the NFL is going to unveil that schedule later this week on Wednesday night. But I decided to try my hand to see if I could nail the Jaguars schedule tonight for you. So let's take a look at what I came up with as I kind of went into the lab to try and figure out what the Jaguars will be doing this upcoming season. So this isn't hard, because, or is actually hard because there's a lot of moving pieces and I'll be surprised if I nailed it, but you know what? I also wouldn't be surprised if I nailed it because I like some of these matchups in the exact spots where I have them. So let's start things off in week one with an AFC South matchup against the Tennessee Titans. That's a good way to open up the season. You know, the Jaguars have wrapped up their season the past couple of years against the Titans, but uh, the Titans are maybe a little bit different spot than they've been over the past couple years. So good opening game for the Jaguars. Start the season with a rivalry game. Then after that week two, how about the Packers? That's a quite iconic game, but soon as after that, all right, Jaguars are going to head on to London taking on those New England Patriots. Not exactly a favorite of folks, but you know what? Patriots in London, I think that'd be a good game. Go against uh, rookie quarterback Jaden Daniels there. And then you go to number four, you have the Bears, also in London. That one going to be the home game for the Chicago Bears, so an away game for the Jaguars. So uh, have those two games coming your way. And then wrap up that Titans series. How about this one? First Monday night football game of the, of the year? Week six for the Jaguars? First primetime game of the year for the Jaguars. I got them in week six. In-state rivalry against the Miami Dolphins. I think that one will be interesting. Uh, it'd be nice to see the Jaguars back on Monday night football, even if the game isn't a home game here in Jacksonville. I know we'd all like it to be a home game, but I got this a road game. Then how about Buffalo? You finally have that bye week in week eight. Now keep in mind, Doug Peterson has had the option when they have those back-to-back -back London games to have the bye week right after. He doesn't like that. So push that bye week as late into the season as possible is what they would prefer. Week eight is a pretty middle-of-the-road kind of bye week. I think Doug Peterson and company would be pretty happy with that. So uh, then you have your first Colts game in week nine. How about a road game to the Jets in week 10? That one Thursday night football. Jaguars and Jets have met on Thursday night football before. I think they do it again. First time against Aaron Rodgers in that uh, Jets uniform for the Jaguars. Week 11 against the Vikings and then the Browns. And then uh, this one's been making its rounds on social media, so I decided to just go with it. How about week 13, that Thanksgiving Day game? at Detroit against the Lions. I think this one is interesting. Jaguars have never played on Thanksgiving Day. I don't know if it's going to happen, but it surely would be fun. Look, I, I, I get it. Thanksgiving Day is a holiday. Everybody's gathered around the table. But this would be a great opportunity for the Jaguars to have one of those iconic kind of games. And the Jaguars and the Lions are two up-and-coming franchises right now in the league. So I could see the matchup happening. And I think it would be a good matchup. I think it'd be good for the Jaguars, even if it does kind of change some Thanksgiving traditions for folks here in Jacksonville. Then that first Texans game of the year. So my reasoning behind having the Texans late, everybody expects the top two teams in the AFC South to be the Jaguars and the Texans, just like a couple of years ago when they were wrapping up their season with the Titans. Now they ha wrap up their season with the Texans, anticipating that these games are going to be really important late in the year. Got a road trip to Philly in week 15. Then you got the Colts. Road trip to the Raiders, and then, of course, that last game of the season in Houston taking on the Texans. The NFL is going to finger cross with this one if I'm right. They're going to be hoping that that last game of the season is similar to last year or even the year before that where the Jaguars and Texans are meeting with an opportunity to go to the playoffs on the line. So this is my swing at the Jaguars' regular season schedule. We'll see what happens. Again, the NFL is going to roll out those schedules on Wednesday night. Uh, I'm sure the Jaguars will have a fantastic video to make that announcement for everybody, and I'm sure we'll love it because last year's video was fantastic, talking about the script. Uh, we'll see if my script is right.